It is often said that disability is not inability. In Zambia, out of 2 million persons with disabilities, the majority of them are neither informal nor informal employment and have limited access to brain materials. In order to help visually impaired persons in Zambia, the Zambia Information and Communication Technology Authority, ZICTA, an ICT regulatory body responsible for regulating the ICT sector in Zambia, has donated a braille printer to Zambia Library Culture and Skills Center in Lusaka's Chilenja area. The authority is confident that the donation of the 650 SW braille printer worth a 2 million kwacha to the library will help the visually impaired persons to have access to braille materials. In a speech read on his behalf by the Director of Human Resource and Administration, like Mikelawai, Minister of Community Development and Social Welfare Permanent Secretary Dr. David Kamata says government is keen on improving the lives of all citizens, including persons with disabilities. Of, of great growth on access to the information to persons with a visual impairment. I therefore urge other stakeholders to emulate this great gift in order to contribute to the well-being of persons with disabilities. You all may be aware that this government, under the leadership of His Excellency Mr. Edgar Chagwalu, is keen on improving the lives and services to all citizens, including persons with disabilities. And when handing over the printer to the library, Zikta board a chairman Emmanuel Msonda in a speech read on his behalf by board a member Vestas Chungu says Zikta remains committed to enhancing inclusiveness of ICTs for persons with disabilities. Information and communication technologies can provide opportunities and benefits to people with disabilities to overcome exclusion on the basis of visual impairment. Around the world, the momentum is building for initiatives that allow persons with disabilities to take their right place in society and Zambia cannot afford to lag behind. We are aware that Zambia Library Cultural and Skills Center for the Vision Impaired was established in August 1993, and it is the only organization recognized by the government of the Republic of Zambia for being responsible for transcribing materials in Braille on a large scale. Before June 2016, the center only had one outdated Braille 200 series strip, which prints 200 characters per second, thus limiting the rate of production of Braille materials. After receiving the donation, Acting Executive Director at Zambia Library Culture and Skills Center for the Visual Impaired, Kech Sambi, expressed delight at the guest from Zikter. What a coincidence. They would have not donated this machine at the right time than today because the Minister of Education has requested the library to print 36,000 books for learners in schools for the blind. <laughs> they have also said that the library should print 4,000 teachers guide books in schools for the blind. <laughs> we have such an assignment from government through Ministry of Education, the younger machine, I'm borrowing the language from America, mm -hmm. the younger machine would have not made it possible, but the one they have brought is moving at the bullet speed. And disability activist Elijah Ngwale had also something to say about the donation. Thank all of you for what you have done. For what you have done. It's really very, very great because prayer, prayer has been recognized, as already been said, one, in the constitution of the public of Zambia, the new prayer has come here to stay. Two, the, the Persons with Abilities Act. Three, Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. These have come uh, to say it's recognized now. But we want decent, we want decent Braille. And you, the Zambia National Library, must make sure that by next year, please send about three, four blind persons, I'm using the term blind, to train in the library work. Truly, this machine will enable the center to do its work in an efficient manner and it will enhance access to information by persons with visual impairment as braille copies will be made quicker. Mayor Michael, 
QTV News in Lusaka.